We're here at Hamilton Road at the camper registration here at Sun and Fun. I wanted to show you a little bit about the facility. We're already getting lots of people registering. We got campers lining up, so the event's already taking place. It's going to be bigger than ever. We're like up 20% over last year, which will be the biggest crowd we've ever had. Linda, tell us why they need to come here to register. Because the security is not going to let them get in without a bad a wristband or a camping registration sign in their vehicle. They have to come here to pay their money to be able to get into the dry camping area and every other area we have. Do any, do any of the campsites have generators or the ability to run your generator? Yes, we have a 24 hour generator area. We have a, a um, daily generator area, which is from one time to the other. And we also have water and electric but those sites are already taken. And space. It's free. Story time. Tuesdays, 10 a.m. at Lakeland's Florida Air Museum. Hey, this is Aviatrix Alyssa with Sun and Fun Aerospace TV. We're down at the Corn Roast. Did you know that at Sun and Fun, every single night they have a corn roast with fresh corn? So let's go talk to some people and find out just how really juicy this corn is. Well, this is only our first night, so, so far, so good. So far, so good. Okay. So um, if you could rate the corn, how would you rate it? This is awesome. Awesome corn. It's best. Very cool. It's how great is it that they have the seasoning and the butter here, too, for you to just set it all up? It's wonderful. It works out great. Awesome. Wonderful. It's good, good. Yeah. What's your name? Carrington. Carrington. That's a beautiful name. So what do you like most about Sun and Fun? Um, I like um, watching the airplanes. You like watching the airplanes? Yeah. What do you think about the corn? I love it. Yeah? You must love it. Look at you ate all the corn. Yeah? I squeezed on the butter and then salt and pepper. Ah. And this is fresh corn from Bell Glade. Bell Glade. Yeah. So you even know where it's from. Absolutely, yeah. You really love the corn. Absolutely. Okay, and it looks like um, you're doing a proper pre-flight procedure. That's right. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Ah, Absolutely. yeah. You went through your pre-flight checklist. You betcha. Yeah, head. I love it. <laughs> Did you eat all of this? Uh, no, my mom ate one and a half, and I ate the rest. You ate the rest of this? Yeah. So you ate one and a half? Yeah. Wow, so you really like the corn? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, this is Aviatrix Alyssa with Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo TV. Let's go check out Nick at the hangar and see what he has to say. Thanks, Alyssa. This is Nicholas Ianiti with Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo TV. I'm joined here tonight with the one and only Rocketeer. How's it going, everybody? Nice to see you. Billy, we're so glad that you came out. Uh, we really appreciate it. Have you ever been to Sun and Fun before? I haven't, so I figured I'd uh, chart my course this way. I had just enough jet fuel to get me here. Yeah, why did you guys come out tonight? Have you ever seen the Rocketeer? I have not seen the Rocketeer. I was looking forward to seeing something different. Okay, that sounds good. Never seen it. Never seen it? All right. Well, you guys are in for a treat. I can definitely tell you that. Are you guys camping out here while you're volunteering, or are you staying local? Or? Camping, glamping. It's an RV. Camping, glamping, <laughs> I guarantee you. And I see you've got a volunteer kitchen on there. You're volunteering in the kitchen? Yes, sir. And how about yourself? Same, same. same. Both in the kitchen? Yep. Yeah, we make the sandwiches. We volunteer to make sandwiches for the volunteers. Yeah. So well, what bring you down? Are you a pilot? My husband is a pilot. Oh, actually, so you're a passenger. That's okay. I'm a passenger, and I love it. But my husband is a pilot in the ultralights. Oh, ultralights. Do you guys have your own plane? Yep. He does, yes. What kind of plane? It's a power parachute. The, the uh, what? The wolf? Air wolf. That's awesome. Well, welcome, you guys. Have you guys ever seen the Rocketeer? I haven't. No, he has, but I haven't, so I look forward to it. Can we expect to be here the entire week? Um, I think I'm just going to hang out tonight, then I might head down over to Disney World and check in with my, uh, my old boss. Well, you know, I know the Thunderbirds are going to be performing here, so maybe you might uh, think about kind of showing them up a little bit. What do you think? Uh, maybe we can work something out. I'll see if i got enough bubble gum to patch this thing up. All right, well, that sounds great. We'll keep an eye out for it. Remember, if you're not here at Sun and Fun, this is what you're missing. I'm Nicky Needy with Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo TV. We're here at the Pilot Welcome Center, where many of our guests will first arrive here at Sun and Fun. They'll be greeted by a staff of great greeters who are here to make sure that they have a great stay, they learn what's available, and have a fun experience at Sun and Fun. Uh, we're here to accommodate them. Anything that they would need, this is exactly, we're trying to be a one-stop shop, anything that they need. The Pilot Welcome Center takes care of everything from checking in, getting passes, et cetera, anything they may need for camping. We've got Publix drop-offs, uh, Uber pickups, everything right here at the island in one centralized location. When they first fly in, they should have a placard in their airplane. 
and it should say where they want to go. Aircraft parking, antique and classic, home built, ultralight. And they hold it up to the parkers and then they have a better idea where to send them. Otherwise they have to stop them and ask them, where do you want to go? And so that facilitates a lot of that. And we have so many different areas they can park in. I wanted to share with you some of the goodies that pilots get when they first arrive here at the Pilot Welcome Center. So you got this nice, beautiful bag, and inside the bag, we've got all kinds of handy things. Of course, you get a hat to keep your head out of the sun, and you get some other trinkets, including information about the, the show, and a pin, and proof that you've been here for future air shows. Well, the island was designed for the general aviation campers. Uh, in the past, when they would come and camp out in the field here, after the show was over, there wasn't a whole lot for them to do. We're here with Mike Fuller. Mike, will you share with us your experience coming into Sun and Fun in the Pilot Center? I uh, sure will. It was uh, actually very easy. The, uh, uh, the controllers were very polite, and uh, the ground crew was super directing me over here. And... Uh, I uh, can't say anything bad about any, any, any of it. It was all just a nice experience. We have a restaurant. We have a ship store so that they could, uh, any camping supplies that they may need, any food. Uh, we've got live entertainment three or four nights a week. Uh, the restaurant's open till 10. They do have a live bar. So it's a place for the pilots to get together. Instead of just having nothing to do in the evenings or after dark, they can come over here, congregate, and enjoy the, enjoy the evenings. It's clear pilots and their guests will have a fun experience here at the fly-in. Bobby Giles, Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo TV. All right, so I'm here with Paul, and this is the chair that everybody's been asking about. So I got to know what's going on with this chair. So this is Paul. Paul's going to tell us a little bit more about his chair. All right, so uh, the chair came about when they put the uh, eight-foot fence up. Um, and the first year we came down, we couldn't see. We'd sit down on the ground we couldn't see the show through the fence so i went home and um, uh, in my head started designing it and during the development sorry during the development days we had a code name the gadget and we just called it the gadget uh, and then after it was complete uh, we just called it the skybox or uh, people come by the big chair you know uh, somebody called it a uh, what do they call it a, a beach chair <laughs> <laughs> so I already asked folks, no, you cannot rent by the hour, but there are plants in place for a part two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I mean, I don't know. I, I, the, the second one, there's rumors that it may be powered, <laughs> that we could drive it around the street. I, I don't know if I'd want to do that, though. <laughs> Hit the brakes, you'd topple over like a, like a, like a, the uh, leading tower of Pisa. Yeah. <laughs> Well, been coming here for about 24 years now, I'm 25 now. My dad's, uh, he's a pilot, so we came down here the first time uh, around 2001 with a, with a plane. And it's been tradition every year for us to come down here and just enjoy the airplanes and family time together. And uh, yeah, we camped out with the airplane till about 07. We came with a pop-up after that. We've been staying here since then in, in this uh, campground. So yep, uh, now we volunteer, my dad and I. So it's always been a family thing for us. and. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's like the yearly pilgrimage, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> From the best chair and the best view of all of Sun and Fun, Bobby Giles, Sun and Fun, Aerospace Expo TV. And welcome to Sun and Fun Live today. I'm Amanda Holly from WFLA News Channel 8. And of course, I'm here with our co host and CEO and President Gene Conrad. Good morning, Amanda. Very excited to be here. It's great to have uh, you back today. It's great to have me back. I've yes. been, been welcome off. Welcome back. We Thank missed you. you the last couple of days. <laughs> I've, so I've welcome missed back. you guys too. So we made it through day one of Sun and Fun, the Warbird Rap Ramp. In fact, here is a live look at the ramp um, where an amazing concert took place last night. 
Uh, more on that in just a moment. Stay with us for lots of information and guests today, including the Civil Air Patrol and Royal Air Force Air Cadets. Yeah, we have a jam-packed 30 minutes yes, coming in here. Do. So the fun's just getting started. Remember to hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment for us in that comment section. If you haven't already subscribed, please do that now as well so you never miss any info from Sun and Fun. Should we get started? We let's go. All right, opening we got day. Lots to, we got lots to do, so we got to get going. All right, so. tell me about opening day. So opening day was great. It was phenomenal. Um, you know, again, record number of exhibitors here this year. Um, actually, we had record attendance for our first day for a Tuesday. That's awesome. Um, so it was a great opening day. And then our concert um, was absolutely phenomenal last night out on the Warbird ramp. And also, I found out yesterday we have 300 air, more aircraft on the field yesterday than we have uh, than we did last year. So all of our efforts here collectively to get the word out and, and market the, you know, our event have paid off. And uh, we started the day off with a historical event yesterday. Yes, and so we had our historical marker dedication out front here of the Skylab Innovation Center yesterday. Um, so that was a great event. Got to, you know, thank our and recognize our pioneers and our volunteers mm -hmm. and all the people that came before us to make it make what we are today um, a reality. And it's just unbelievable. And it was very heartwarming, you know, and a great morning to be able to do that and dedicate that that monument and, um, you know, to some special people, you know, that have made us what we are. And I think we have some video to show from that as well. One yeah. quick thing, Nick. Mathis, Jamie Jamison, our maintenance team, and my entire team, thanks for making today possible. And now we're going to unveil the historical marker. Wow, that is, that's amazing. You know, it was great. And again, just, just happy to be able to do that in partnership with mm -hmm. the uh, Polk County um, Historical Commission. Uh, we also had uh, um, the county manager, Mr. Beasley, was out here as well, and our board members, and you know, just all kinds of folks. So it, was a, it was a great morning. Busy, busy day yesterday. Um, it was really a great day for us, and, and we're looking for an even better day yeah, here on Wednesday. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see a little clip from the concert as well. That was a big event, first yes. year we've ever had a concert, so let's take a look at that. What a fantastic crowd! That's awesome. It was awesome, and also you didn't you saw some of it, um, uh, but during Seven Air, Sarah Evans' her last song, um, we had the paramotors up with yeah. arrhythmia, so that was great. And then Dylan Scott's first song, we had the F sixteen yeah. come over the top. Um, and then his last song, we had Nathan Hammond and his chipmunk with fireworks on the aircraft. So all kinds of cool elements. It was a great success, but it, we could not do it without our volunteers, yeah. you know, and my team. They've done a phenomenal job to start off a great week for us. And we had some great weather yes, yesterday. Great that weather. That continues into yes, today. That, that is good. <laughs> uh, we uh, have VFR today, so that's awesome. I will say that it is going to be a little breezy. I've been checking out the forecast, meteorologist here. So it is going to be a little breezy as we go through the day. Mixture of sun and clouds, but kind of more of the same with uh, with what we had yesterday. Mid 80s, it will be hot in the sunshine. Make sure you're drinking the water. And then for our night show this evening, it's looking really great as well. Just a little little breezy out there. Yeah, breeze is okay. Yeah, we'll take we, that. We can take and that. actually, it's a little warmer today, so the breeze is always nice yeah, for we everybody. Yeah, we will take it. It's uh, going to feel very nice. So let's take a moment to go behind the scenes of the massive board game that is aircraft arriving at Sun and Fun. This is Nicholas Ianiti with Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo TV, here celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo. And a lot of people always know that, you know, the air show is fantastic to come to, but really this is just a great big fly-in. We have over 60 volunteers here on the AeroOps ground side to basically help people get parked. Let's come around, talk to a couple of them, and see what it takes to get people where they need to go safely. Tell us a little bit about just maybe the process of somebody sitting at home, Pilots watching and they're like, I don't know, sun and fun, flying, it looks cool, but 
<sighs> I don't know if I want to deal with all that stuff. Maybe how bad is it? Tell us what, what happens. Well, it's, uh, it's actually pretty easy. If you can read a notum and pay attention and make a sign that tells us where you want to park, uh, we pretty much handle you as soon as you turn off the, uh, the runway onto one of the taxiways and uh, follow our flaggers and our, and our, um, our sorters, and we will get you uh, to where you need to park. So, so basically the big key is essentially just to kind of print out your own little placard of where you want to park. Right. Put that inside your windscreen as you're flying in, and then someone here is going to pick them up, come down, and then basically one of these marshalers, you'll convey where they're going. Exactly. And they're going to basically be marshaled to right where they're going to park. We're all on a radio relay so that we know where you're at, where you're coming from, and, and who's got where you're going. How many planes do you think you're going to park here over the week? Oh, man, uh, all of them. <laughs> That's hundreds and hundreds of planes, Graham. Pretty much. Number one mission is to keep people and props apart. It's safety, keep any any plane that's moving around has a moving prop. We want to make sure that the general population is away from that aircraft, eliminate all that danger, and then also keep the flow of traffic moving. This morning, we actually had a group of our students go out and start the, uh, you can see the, the striping. We have oh, cones. Man, we make sure that the ground is solid. So when we're bringing these aircraft in, they we, we know that it's a solid surface. Tell me a little bit about the cavalry. What's going on with that? So the whole kind of idea of the cavalry is we're out here parking airplanes. So we have our marshalers out here behind the camera. You can't see them, but they're going to marshal them down the roads that we made here with the striping. And then once you get out of the airplane, turn the airplane off, mags are off. We're going to push you back into your parking spot and you can camp on your wing. Um, we're also assisting with setting up all the like the demonstrations, all the, the signs that you see when you fly in. We're setting all those up for you. So it's just kind of whatever you need, call the Calvary and we'll be there. 27 years, yeah, I, I wouldn't be back if I didn't love it. So it's been a blast. Uh, we keep doing it because it's just, it's, it's, it's the second half of our name, Sun and Fun. So as you can see from the first point of contact with the marshals until you're tied down in your parking spot, Everyone here, all the volunteers are absolutely ready to help, and safety is always the number one concern. Thanks for coming along, and we hope to see you out here at Sun and Fun. I'm Nicholas Enid with Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo TV. And thank you, Nick, and thanks for that great report. Obviously, our volunteers okay. out there doing a phenomenal job for yeah. us, keeping everybody safe. So, Amanda... You had your adventure over the last couple of days. I Tell us did. about the eclipse so from your vantage point. Right. So I wasn't here for the past couple of days. I was in northern Maine, uh, had a trip of a lifetime trying to chase this solar eclipse. The total solar eclipse was on Monday, and we had the most spectacular view. That's a picture from uh, the, we had a GoPro kind of behind us doing a, a time lapse and this was the moment that the, the moon actually covered the sun. I'm still trying to figure out the words to actually describe what it felt like. Instant darkness. Um, the corona around the sun was, I, I mean, it's, it's, it was like something out of a movie. I thought we were in the middle of a sci-fi movie. So uh, I, I have been saying now, if you ever get the chance to see a total solar eclipse, absolutely, definitely try and make plans to do that. The next total solar eclipse in the U.S. doesn't happen until 2044. 2044. There's some I'm in between then, just oh. not in the United States. So, yeah. no, that's awesome. <laughs> but it was really cool. No, it's good. And it got a little dark here. You know, you could tell what was going yeah, on, but obviously gray. nothing like you saw. Yeah, and I don't know if you saw any of the shadows on the ground. I think that's my favorite part during the partial phase is the shadows coming through the trees. They like they resemble the the solar eclipse yep. there. So yep. it was well, cool. awesome. But we're we're happy to have you back. Yes, so. happy to be here. Fun-filled week ahead. So thanks, Amanda. Next, we'll have Phil Sedonic. Uh, from the Civil Air Patrol will join us. Plus, we'll look at our new Future in Flight Plaza experience as Sun Fun Live today continues after the break. It's where we find community, and it's where the heart is. Dreamfinders Homes, homes built to fit your lifestyle. 
Light the way with D2 Mach 1 Pro, the smartwatch for pilots with a built-in flashlight. D2 Mach 1 Pro features a brilliant 1.4-inch touchscreen AMOLED display and up to 25 days of battery. D2 Mach 1 Pro includes an aeronautical database to give you airport information and direct to navigation, including a moving map and HSI. Light the way with D2 Mach 1 Pro. In the Air Force, we fly airplanes. Our job is to put those aircraft in the sky. Service it, gas it up, do the inspection, keep it mission ready. None of these jets would make it off the ground without us. We deal in high stakes situations, a lot of moving parts while still maintaining that fast pace. We're all working towards one mission. A lot of the work is done in teams. You get to drive and operate all kinds of equipment from towing trailers to lifting each individual weapon. You never do anything alone. Somebody's always got your back. We rely on each other as technical experts to know how we're gonna get it fixed. You will not find a harder working group of people than U.S. Air Force maintainers. We're a little gritty, but we get the job done. to Sun and Fun Live today. We want to remind you to help us spread the word about this live stream. Remember to leave a comment in the comment section and use the hashtag SNF24. Mash that thumbs up button as well. Share us and that will help us out. So we're going to take another live look outside at the Warbird ramp that is live this morning at 913. A lot is going on out there. It's been a busy day so far. One day under our belt, the second day just about getting started. But the Civil Air Patrol has been a fixture on the expo for years. So joining us now is Lieutenant Colonel Phil Zadonik from CAP, the United States Air Force Auxiliary. Phil is the chairman of the CAP operation at Sun and Fun again this year. Welcome. Well, Thanks for well, being thank here. Well, thank you. Good to be here as always. I really appreciate the time. And uh, we've got a lot going on. Yeah, so Phil, how many years have you guys been out here? Since the inception? or About uh, about 15 to 18 years. Okay. I've been totally involved out here about the last 15 years. Yep. So. And how many kids are you bringing out each uh, year? We have about 50 out here right now, and we're supporting along the uh, the fly line, the aircraft movements, and things like that. Again, ensuring safety and things of this nature and giving uh, cadets an opportunity to uh, practice some of their skills mm -hmm. that they've learned and everything else. We also have a... ELT team here on ground in case an ELT goes off on an aircraft or whatever to have a direction finding team that could go out and shut that down and again and uh, respond to anything that may come through the Air Force Rescue Coordination Center if there's an overdue aircraft or missing aircraft or whatever uh, that's a big part of our of our operation also. Yeah, and, and so are your folks or the kids are they camping on site here? They are, the they're, also, they're, they're a bit whacking at the uh, the grace of uh, the Aero Club. They oh, have the that whole area, Club. the whole yeah. area club. Yeah, Mike Z's been great, and uh, so we're all set up back there. And uh, we have a static to play Cessna 172 coming in, G1000 coming in today, and uh, be set up as a static display outside there, mm -hmm. along with a recruiting tent, so people can stop by and pick up any information they may have or we want about uh, learn a little bit more about Civil Air Patrol. So, how long are their days? What time do they get started, and what time are you done in, in the evening? Oh, they're they're up early, yeah. <laughs> and uh, they're there until. Uh, they, the aircraft movement's over in the afternoon, so they, they spend a full day out there. And uh, we work in conjunction, of course, with the, the, the British Royal Cadets and everything else, too. Yeah, so. we're going to talk to them here shortly, yeah, and, and yeah. they're always a good group and yeah. fun. So. Awesome. Well, we appreciate all the hard work yes. um, you know, each and every year, and uh, you know, especially this year being our 50th, and we appreciate what the 18 years again that you guys have been participating, yeah. so thank you for that. And, um, you know, anything else you want to add for the audience? No, I just want to say that uh, Civil Air Patrol is a great nationwide organization. The three major missions of uh, emergency services, search and rescue, credited with over 60 lives saved last year. Uh, we have an incredible forensic, cell phone forensic team, radar analysis that helps save lives and find, team, find people. Uh, or uh, aerospace education. We make sure uh, our youth know about the opportunities in the aerospace industry, give them opportunity to uh, to fly, everything else in this nature, and the cadet program from ages 12 to, to 21. And again, um, 
We're here in Florida. We're located from Key West to Pensacola. And South. you guys have a headquarters here, too, yeah, right here on the Yeah, naturally, our, our Florida Wing headquarters is here on site. Yep. And uh, we have 71 units in Florida, 26 aircraft. In fact, Civil Air Patrol is the largest owner of single-engine aircraft in the world. We have there 544. You so yeah, you guys need to put that on your patch and tout that. That's a big. That's a big achievement. <laughs> that's, that's a, a lot of airplanes. One. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's just a great organization. And uh, if anyone has any uh, wants any more information about Civil Air Patrol, go to uh, gocivilairpatrol.com. They can punch in their zip code and find a unit near them. Awesome. Or come see you here at Sun and Fun, right? That's it, exactly. <laughs> there you go. Well, thanks, Phil. We appreciate it. Thanks for being here. You know, we appreciate it again all the 18 years. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. And new this year at Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo is a future in flight plaza. Never before have we had so much information, opportunities, and activities all together in one location for every member of the family. Correspondent Bobby Giles will take you on a tour. We're here at the Future of Flight Plaza, and today is the grand opening of this beautiful plaza. We hope to inspire the next generation of pilots, mechanics, and other aviation support staff. Let's take a look inside. I think it's a you know, great opportunity for aspiring pilots to connect with people in the industry, you know, potentially apply for jobs and see you know, what opportunities are out there. I've seen a lot of great stuff. I've actually uh, seen the company that I work for right now. So like, I just have been going around bothering them and bothering everyone else as much as I can. It's really hot out there, having fun looking at all the, all the airplanes. So you come in here, get some air conditioning. Um, nursing moms have stations where they can comfortably nurse babies, change babies. Uh, we have a comfort station um, outside, so it's a clean place to bring your little ones to go to the bathroom. And then we've got dancing and movies. And um, we partnered with Carol. They are a um, babysitting service, but we have some ladies here who are here to play with the kids and just have a good time. Oh, it's been super fun. It's my first day. We just got in here, so this is the first booth we stepped into, oh, okay. like looking around for careers. We've been uh, browsing the type of cadet programs they have. It's been a great first day at Sun and Fun. Um, I think this is my, be my third year attending, and I have a blast every single time. This is my first year doing the scavenger hunt. <laughs> So tell us about the scavenger hunt. How many chairs have you found so far? This is my first one. Oh. Um, I downloaded the app right here at the chair, but it actually downloaded pretty quick and I was able to pop it right open. And it was really easy. You just scan the little QR code that's right here on the back of the chair. And um, I was working on taking my selfie. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely fun. I mean, the flight sims are, they're, they're good for beginners, but you can mash them over a lot of time. And they're really fun. And awesome. Did you crash? Yeah, that did a lot. <laughs> I think that's the whole point of a flight sim, right? Yeah, learn how to fly. So as you can see, the future is bright at Future in Flight Plaza. Bobby Giles, Sun and Fun, Aerospace Expo TV. Thanks, Bobby. Up next, the British are invading. Not for real. <laughs> Dave Easley from the Royal Air Force Air Cadets will be here when we return to Sun and Fun Live today. <laughs> I grew up in Nassau, and it's where I found my roots. So it's got a special place in my heart. The thundering pulse of its Junkanoo music inspires dancing in the streets, larger-than-life pageantry, and celebrations week on end. It's more than our capital. It's the heart and soul of our nation. The islands of the Bahamas fly away. I love aircraft, and so I love working on airplanes, and I love being around airplanes. I got that bug at an early age. There's no better feeling than watching that plane that you've worked on all day, put all this time and effort in, take off safely with all the people on board. I, I've been with the company for 25 years, and in the last 12 months, we have seen this meteoric rise in the level of performance and achievement. The goal of Piedmont is to provide a safe operation. We all learn from each other. We're constantly revolutionizing what we do, giving our customers the best experience possible, and we're having a good time doing it. My favorite part about working for Piedmont are the flight benefits. So I always tell people how awesome it is to be able to fly wherever you want to go for free. I could not beat basically this offer to work here. It definitely is a great place to start. I don't see myself anywhere else, and I have a home here.
Welcome back and thank you for sticking with us on Sun and Fun Live today. As we take another look outside on the airside in the Warbird area, we have a huge selection of static aircraft on display. Again, that's a live picture out there right now. Another reminder for you to give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and use the hashtag SNF24. Spread the word about these channels and subscribe. Again, we're going to be here every day live at 9 a.m. giving you the oh, yeah. latest for the day ahead. But now, for 30 years, the Royal Air Force Air Cadets have been attending the Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo. Joining us now is Flight Lieutenant Dave Easley, Cadet, uh, Dave Easley and Cadet Sergeant Morgan Tate. Welcome to Sun and Fun 2024. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Morning. Tell us about your involvement with Sun and Fun. Um, so uh, every every year um, we have, uh, I think this year we've got 60 cadets uh, and we're here to like help volunteer, mm -hmm. uh, directing aircraft, uh, parking them, pushing them back, stuff like that. And you had a busy day yesterday. How yeah. did that go? Um, um, really well. Uh, the cadets volunteer across the airfield in air operations. We've got cadets at aircraft parking, aircraft camping, uh, warbirds, uh, aircraft, airside crowd control, keeping visitors safe, and also welcoming them in uh, registrations as well. And how many cadets do you have here? Uh, 60 cadets. 60. Uh, 16 staff. Okay, great. Total. So all the planning, how long does it take to put the planning together to get everybody over here from across the pond? 10 months. 10 months. <laughs> so wow. we'll get back from Sun of Fun this year, two months break, and we'll start all over again. For next year. Absolutely. <laughs> now, we, uh, we had lunch over at the International Oasis the other day. I got to meet all the cadets and, and talk to them real quick, and we all had some Chick-fil-A. So mm. hopefully you all like Chick-fil-A. <laughs> that was pretty good. Um, you know, but uh, I had to ask, and I did when I was there, what airline did you fly on over here? British Airways. Okay, yeah. there you go. <laughs> That's the right one. That's the right yes. one. Yes. <laughs> I was like, if you guys flew over on Lufthansa, that was probably the wrong airline, but they, they picked the right one. So good. Absolutely. Well, what what are your plans for today, continuing to bring in the aircraft? Yeah, so uh, hopefully uh, later today uh, I'll be on Warbirds. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll be uh, creating like bubbles, uh, making sure we keep uh, civilian safe uh, from other aircraft. Sure. Yeah. What is your favorite part about coming over here? Oh, it's, it's definitely got to be the food. It's, the food. Oh, yeah, it's great. <laughs> Chick-fil-A, see? <laughs> what is your favorite food so far? Oh, Ch well, Chick-fil-A so yeah. far. Um, <laughs> I love it's been great. It's really good. I mean, it's good. Fantastic. Yeah, it's I'm, uh, so good. I'm excited about that. <laughs> so you guys camp on site as well, like our CAP friends. So where, where do you guys camp and how big is your compound? I've been over there. It's quite large, actually. <laughs> We're very fortunate. Son of Fun look after us really well. Uh, we've got our own dedicated campground. Uh, it's dedicated to Cliff Mullins, who founded our camp 30 years ago. We've been coming for the last 30 years. Uh, and... Uh, We've uh, got a great site there, really fortunate. The staff are in air-conditioned trainers. The cadets get uh, marquee tents with camp beds, yeah. but we all have a great time. Yeah, and I do remember last year at our, what we call our tail dragger party on the last day, a lot of the cadets were having a great time. Yeah. Also that morning, um, there was a tram full of cadets for our parade with our volunteers we do on Sunday mornings. They were kind of ruckus. I mean, they're, they're getting pretty excited, and uh, we love that, though. We, yeah. they bring, you guys bring the energy for us here yeah. you know, to this event. We love having you guys. Unfortunately, during the pandemic year, you guys couldn't be here. That was horrible. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, hey, you're back in force, and, and we really appreciate the 30 years of you all being here with us and yeah, helping, us, really helping us get it done. So thank you very much. Hopefully another 30 years ahead, right? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for thank being you guys. here. Look forward to seeing you out there. Hey, have See a you. safe day. Thanks yes. for having me. Thank you guys. Absolutely. All right, Gene, it's Sun and Fun Day 2. What are the highlights everyone should know? Well, actually, today started off pretty early for yeah. us. So over here, just in the pavilion right next to the to the studio here, we are, it's Women Aces Day. Mm -hmm. So you can see my shirt here, Women Aces. Um, you know, it was a big day for us, so we kicked off our breakfast that started at 7.30 this morning. We had some great speakers. Um, Lieutenant Marsh, Miss America, is here with us. She spoke at the concert yesterday, spoke to all the all of our 250 guests wow. at the Women Aces Breakfast this morning. Um, we also had Connie Tobias, who is our keynote speaker. Um, and then we also had Kelly Murphy with WAI and also Lori Klein, um, airline pilot, and um, quite the story as well, and a panel of uh, ladies from uh, Republic Airways are um, from Lyft Academy, I think, or Republic, one or the other. I'm probably messing that up, and they're going to hate me later. Um, but what a great day, um, you know, to start off Wednesday. Um, but it's a packed day today. I yeah. mean, you saw some pictures out there on the Warbird ramp. The Connie made it last night right before the concert, right before 6 o'clock. So I know people are going to love that. Um, and, you know, again, just a full day. Air show starts at 1, rolls till 5, and then tonight. 
starting at seven. I'm so excited. Is, is the night show, and we've been we've been hyping this thing we up. Have. It better be good. Um, <laughs> but we've been hyping this thing up. But it will end with our 17 minutes of fireworks and ground based pyro and aircraft flying in it, and two other elements that if you're not here, and I'm that's sorry. Just the end. <laughs> yes, and that's the end. You know, but it's gonna be a jam packed day. Thunderbird number eight arrives today as well because the team will be here tomorrow. Um, they get here at about 11 uh, 11 a.m. Um, actually, they get here during the air, afternoon air show um, tomorrow about 4.30, excuse me. So, okay. packed day. Lots of airplanes coming in, lots of people. Lots, lots of see. excitement. It's our 50th. So, if you're not here, you better get here. You got to get here. I will say, I've been driving around on the ramp a little bit this morning. There's already a ton of people out yes. there. Very exciting day ahead. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Here we are. All right, we well, got to talk about the weather just one last time. Again, a beautiful day in store for us. A little warm. Please wear the sunscreen. You saw some of those folks out there wearing the big hats. Those are really helpful. Uh, we'll be in the mid-80s for the middle of the air show today. Getting a little gusty today. Unfortunately, I am going to be tracking some storms moving in tomorrow afternoon. Still working on the exact timing. I think the morning still looks really good. Uh, but But my question that, would be, is anything severe? Because that's all I worry about. <laughs> There is a chance that we could see some strong storms tomorrow afternoon. Okay. So we'll re revisit that in the morning, take a look at the exact timing and what we could see. But I would tell you, the, too, that the ground is great. So even if we got a half inch of rain, it will... It will absorb that really quick. That's I mean, the fantastic. grounds are in great shape. So And hey, download the app as well. Download yes. the uh, the Sun and Fun app that will help you keep up to date with some of that as well. So thank you, Amanda. Yeah. Glad you're back with Me us. Too. That was another quick half hour. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us today. Happy 50th. We'll see you out there. And we'll be back tomorrow morning with Sun and Fun Live today. Every morning through Sunday, we're going to be here with the latest information, special guests and inside info for your Sun and Fun Aviation Expo experience. It's every day, 9 a.m. Eastern time for Sun and Fun Live today. Until then, thanks for watching, and we'll end with this nice live shot of the Warbird Ramp.